Hey everybody. Okay, I'm going to start my experimenting on trying to find the most realistic candle. <laughs> and this one is made by Enjoy Lighting. This is the same manufacturer of the candle I saw in the darkness haunt that had the most realistic light that I had ever seen in a candle. But when I ordered it, these are LEDs. They don't make the incandescent bulbs which had made this such an impressive display. So that started my quest. Alright, I've turned them on. This is the bright setting. And hopefully you can tell just how artificially yellow these are. <laughs> They're just, I don't know, too Halloweenish. <laughs> Alright, so I got a box of this. These are uh, lanterns that use the same mechanism that the original candles I had seen at the darkness uses. So I'm going to be hacking these. Now they come in the different lantern sizes. I'm just not even going to use them. But this is one of the units that it comes with. I took the cover off. And you can see the three either rice grain or wheat grain bulbs that it uses. So I'm going to be taking that off and sticking that in a candle. And hopefully I get that same realistic look I had. Here's a pillar candle that I burnt down. And I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of it to bring in this thing. I may use the styrofoam, I may not. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see how this works. I've not done this before, so we get to experience it together. This is a one and a half inch hole bit. Try to get in the center as best you can. Nice and slow. getting close get another drill bit and drill the wick out and you could better judge the distance so I'm gonna go get that drill bit this is a half inch drill bit I'm coming in from the bottom all the way through okay, now I can see better how far I have to go because you don't want to go all the way through so I'm gonna keep drilling is this <laughs> this thing, once it gets going, really starts tunneling through. So be very careful when you get to the to the end of this. I tried something with my heat gun, and I'm kind of liking the effects. Uh, you get a little bit of a melted look to it. So let's keep trying it, so you can see how it kind of is working. Get some drips over there. I got my heat gun on low, and I'm gonna put it on the ground so I don't burn my hand off. <laughs> I test fitted this and it's actually fits pretty good except for a little bit of looseness. So I'm going to use some popsicle sticks to kind of hold it in place. So I'm going to slide it through again, being very careful not to bang the light bulbs. Get it up to the top. I'm going to flip it over. And now holding it in place, I'm going to jam some popsicle sticks down there. All right, now I'm going to use a little paper to hold the popsicle sticks in place. Or, oh, I know, how about a piece of foam? I think I like that better. Yeah, now it's getting snug. So the reason I'm not permanently putting this in here is I may change my mind and, and want a different colored pillar candle. Who knows? This way it's not permanent. Or I may want my lanterns back. <laughs> I never know. I could be a fickle person. I mean, this set's expensive enough. Okay, what do you think? It's pretty good. I'm going to flip it over, see if it holds. <laughs> Yay! See? All right, I'm going to cut a notch out and glue the cord in there, and this is good. Here's the candles in my uh, living room to let you know I've got four of the ones we've just made. 
two of the LED versions of the ones we've just made, and two candles that are real. Can you tell which ones? Well, the one on the bottom right is probably giving itself away. That's the real candle. It's flickering like crazy. The one in the top far right is also a real candle. The one that's right next to the clock on the left hand side and the bottom left, that's the LED versions and I have them on the high setting right now because on the low setting you can barely tell they're there. And the rest are the candles we just made. This is a great comparison of real candles with the fake candles. The two on the right are real candles. I love them. I think they look great. They look so real. And that's exactly what I've been striving to get. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. They cast great light. Now there are also some very interesting uh, like circuit boards that people have made to make flame lights. This one is by Safe Flame. And let me plug it in so you can see the flickering that this has. It's a 9 volt battery. Not a big deal. But check it out. It uses a blue LED that shoots up a yellow LED. So you get that pretty realistic candle look. Again, it's got that awful yellow LED color. But the blue, I think, helps us make it look way more realistic. This is the novel uh, blue LED in the bottom and it shines through a yellow LED. Here's the cheap Hobby Lobby. Looks like it's just a silicone blob. It's got a nice flicker to it. Just kind of goes on and off, on and off. I think that's one LED, at least what I can tell. Here's the Roscoe. You can see it's fast strobe that it has. Okay, here's the expensive city theatrical. and. I this is a great candle, I think, if it was uh, like a long tapered candle. That flame is very realistic, but it does flicker a lot. I think it has an effect like mm, it's in the wind, it's very windy, that kind of thing. So this could be good if it's outside or, again, in a taper candle because you expect the wind to affect it more. Okay, as comparison, that's a real candle. <laughs> Here is the lantern that I hacked. Uses the three grain bulbs. Look at the realistic random pattern it has. What I like about this is you it you can buy replacement bulbs and that three set just pops out of that little holder that's in there and you can pop another one in. But they are five dollars each. <laughs> this is the same company but their 3D version. I think it uses the same flicker technology because it's a nice random flicker, nice and subtle. Here's the two together, if I can get it in there. You see how much brighter the incandescent is? Nice yellow cast to it, more like real candlelight. Whereas the LED is just orange. Here's the Walmart, very similar to the Hobby Lobby one. I think that also has one LED in it. Has a nice flicker in it. <laughs>